And good evening, everyone. Good evening, Dave Gary here. Thanks for stopping by. This is Let's Have a Chat for Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. How's it going? How's everybody doing? Uh, week's underway. It's been a long week already for some strange reasons. Two fun-filled, action-packed days and three more days to go before we get to the weekend and able to do the side hustle stuff. Uh, this is just the main work stuff. So I hope you're having a better week than I am. But so far, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's busy. Uh, I'm doing something, making stuff happen. And that is a very good thing. And I hope you're doing the same. So as it said here, just as we started up the video, it did say that today is Tuesday. And Tuesday, we talk about leadership in the news. And as you saw the show notes, well, we're talking about uh, what happens when a presidential campaign comes to an end? What 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 causes it? What makes it happen? Sorry about that. And in this case, I hear some bells. Anyway, um, in this case, uh, candidate Kamala, Senator Kamala Harris, uh, it's called it quits. She threw in the towel because, I mean, again, it happens. It happens. Not everybody can make it to the end. And in this case, she was citing some financial difficulties and, and it, you know, it, it happens. Nothing wrong with that, you know, knowing when to throw in the towel, knowing when to call quits. Huge, huge leadership um, trait, huge leadership principle, huge. It, 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 she just elevated in my book um, the leadership uh, level uh, because, again, she knew when to call it quits. She knew when to say enough's enough. We can't make it. We're not going to make it. And that's the end of the campaign. So kudos to her. Kudos to everybody that supported her. Um, now it's, you know, up to everybody else to decide, you know, who they're going to follow, who they're going to vote for, who they're going to put in office. And um, I can't get this, this stool to settle down. There we go. So with that being said, what happens? Well, you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. And again, the whole leadership aspect behind it is, as I said, what happens um, you know, there's there's other reasons people are speculating. There's online stuff that's on opinions on ma most of the major news outlets, online news outlets. They're speculating a lot of infighting, um, the impeachment uh, that's going on right now, uh, because, again, if she was uh, running for president and she votes to impeach a sitting president uh, who's also going to be running for re-election next year, wouldn't she be doing the same thing that, uh, well, she's voting to impeach you know, she's trying to, be, you know, get rid of a potential political rival. So something to think about there, because, yes, it's a double edged sword and it truly is a double edged sword. That being said, the the leadership aspect of this is that she did recognize that, hey, there are many things. And one of them was that the finances, uh, the other reasons, uh, that, like I mentioned, they were talking about infighting within the organization. Some people didn't like what, the way things were moving, the way things were going. But again, she still stopped took action, decided, you know what, I've evaluated everything and it's time to call it quits. Any leader that's avail that's ready to do that, to say, okay, we fought the good fight, now it's time to bring it to an end and knows that it's time to bring it to an end, uh, certainly is one worth watching because again, um, she's no slouch, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that, um, you know, because they call it, no. What I'm saying is, is that she got there for a reason, she went on a platform, she got there on a platform, she won that election to be senator, but now to run the entire nation, that's a whole different level, a whole different set of, the whole different ball game altogether. And I'm not announcing my, my candidacy for the president of the United States, but if I did, that would be one of the platforms is that it's a whole different ballgame. It's not one that's going to be something that's just, oh, well, I ran for local office. I ran for dog catcher. Now I'm president. No, uh, it's not like that. OK, so for her to, to take that leadership role and move her way up, up the political ladder, kudos to her. But again, she didn't get blinded by it. She was not blinded by what was going on. She was not blinded by the truth and not trying to run a campaign on, well, hope and hope and a prayer. Uh, no, you know, that's that lasts only for so long. And any leader that does try to run an operation on a hope and a prayer is, well, uh, hopefully it ends quicker than later. And hopefully the prayers are answered real soon, not later. And again, as someone who's in a position, are you able to make those tough decisions? Are you able to say, okay, you know what? We fought the good fight. Now it's time to bring it to an end. Um, sadly, I was in that position a couple of years ago and I didn't like it. Not one bit. I did not have any, I did not like having to tell people and then formally write a letter saying we're done. I, I hated that. That's the worst time in my life. Uh, but it happens. It happens. You have to at some point just say, you know what? We're going to have to throw in the towel. 
This is it. It's a done deal. We've got to pick up, pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off and move on and move forward. It's when those that don't or those that refuse to, that that's where the problems begin. Because again, they start living a lie. They start bringing everybody else into the lie. And that, and that eventually starts hurting the followers, the people who believed in that leader. They eventually stop hurting. They stop. They start hurting those individuals. And when you're hurting your followers, you're not a leader at all because that's not the sign of a good leader. The sign of a good leader is saying, you know what? It's time to press up and press up. Uh, time to stop and press on, move forward, change something else, do something else, as opposed to dragging it down until you just can't drag it anymore. And it's just, you know, just a heap of a mess. So with that being said, again, kudos to Kamala Harris for realizing it was time and for not dragging it out and making it ugly. And again, good luck to her and her future endeavors and to everyone else. I bid you a good evening and uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.